Okay, welcome to LS573 W03. This is Integrated Technologies in Library, and we are in Spring 2016. My name is Dr. Simon Aristigila Trilos. I'm going to be your uh, professor this semester. If you want to know more about me, you can go to my blog. Uh, it's www www.sciart.org and you can see what I've been doing in terms of research in music and some other things so you're welcome to visit my blog and I also have a Facebook page and, and a Twitter and LinkedIn etc etc so if you want to get connected just uh, let me know okay now let's go back to the home page in D2L let me set it up here okay here it is this is a home page uh, now you don't see anything but once I finish my this video this introduction to the class I'm gonna put it in here so you will be able to see it from here uh, the way we're gonna work this semester is uh, what I have been doing before is I, I will be displaying the news every week so you know what you have to do okay so it is very important that you open D12 every day as you know this is a very short session I think it's a seven week session so please uh, it's very intensive we have a lot of material to cover so make sure you uh, uh, log in into D12 every day and see what news are there however you also have to log in into content what I have done this uh, session I haven't divided the content the table of contents in weeks but in components okay uh, I'm gonna see how this works. I've done it before and it had worked well. Especially I do it in the summer sessions and in the winter sessions when whenever I teach them. Because for short sessions, uh, you know, everything has to be, you have to start working from the very, very beginning. So if we go to the table of contents uh, in D2L, we, the first uh, component is syllabus. And this is where I got the syllabus. Then we have readings and additional content then we have product review that's that is going to be that's going to be one of our assignments then the technology plan and this is going to be another assignment then we have powerpoints and this is where I'm, whatever lecture i do this is where i'm going to put the powerpoints if you need a printed copy okay the final exam and this is a, a, a click the link to the final exam we have university policies here we have an APA link so you know how to cite and you uh, properly uh, we have participations and here uh, we have all the DVs and also there are here under communication if you go to discussions you will find it there too and we have one example of a uh, integrated library system called Koha and we are going to be watching some of these uh, videos too and learning about this uh, program which is uh, of public access okay so let me uh, before we go into detail let's go to what else we can see here if we go to assessment we have to we go to the Dropbox and this is when the product review and the technology plan are due so in the case of the product review is is due April 17 at 11 30 p.m. and the technology plan is due on May 1st 11 30 p.m. okay so these are the due dates for these two products or assignments then we have grades and this is how we, and this is also in the syllabus but I wanted to show you we have participation the DVs each one is worth 10 points then we have the product review is worth 10 points technological uh, technology plan is worth 10 points and the final exam is 10 points if you add that all it adds 100 points and if we follow the table of how uh, letter grades are distributed you know that from 90 to 100 is A from 80 to 90 is B and so on okay so you have to achieve as many points as you, as you can and immediately you will know what your final grade will be okay if you want an A you have to have 90 points and so on okay so let me go here we have uh, the quizzes this is where the uh, f uh, final exam will be but uh, you won't be able to see the final exam until May 2nd and it will be open from May 2nd to May 4th for this final exam uh, I will give you the instructions later but you will have to do something 
at your home and you will have to uh, 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 submit it to the uh, to the final exam uh, uh, area. Uh, I just put final exam, but actually it will be a Dropbox, okay? So I will change that, but I just want you to aware that the final exam will be from May 2nd to May 4th, and it's something that you're going to do at home, and you will you will have to submit it between these two dates. Later in the semester, uh, when I do my, my my final instructions for the final exam, I will add a Dropbox uh, 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 area for the final exam. Uh, I just want to put to put it in here so you know we have we're going to have a final exam, and then we have communications. We have discussion, and first I have a forum called the non-graded participation. Here, you can introduce yourself, you can ask me questions, and you can post information for your classmates. And then we have graded participation, and this is where the ten points each comes from, and you will have to answer these questions. Uh, if you're going to use your textbook, you don't have to cite any source. If you're going to use any other source, electronic or printed, please cite it. Okay? Now, the discussion board, what I call the DBs, are 10 points, is worth 10 points, and it, they all have a due date. For example, DB1 is due on March 20th, DB2 is due on March 27th. DV3 is due on April 3rd. DV4 is due on April 4th. DV5 is due on April 17th. DV6 is due in April 24th. And DV7, the last one, is due on May 1st. So, as we can see, we have due dates for uh, the DVs. We have due dates for these two assignments, the product review and the technology plan. And we have a due date for the final exam. As I said before, the final exam uh, will. I'm going to put the. I'm going to do it now. I can add a new folder called final exam. Okay. There you. There you go. I just wanted to have this link here. So it will show that we're we're going to have a final exam. Okay, let's go back to the content area now. First, we're going to look at the syllabus. This is in PDF, so if you want to download it for your records, it's fine. So this is a Sprint 2016. This this is LS 573 Integrated Technologies in Libraries. Here is my name, Simon Arcigila Trillos. This is my office location. This is my home, my office phone. Uh, this is my email, and these are my office hours. I will be at my office at these hours. However, if you want to talk to me or you want me to call you, send me an email, and we'll work a, an appointment, and I will gladly call you. Okay. By the way, if you have any question that you think is, is, is also beneficial for your classmates, make sure you post your questions right here where it says, ask a question, okay? So everybody can uh, have the same information. Okay, let me go back to my, my syllabus. Okay, as many of you know, because I sent an email to the uh, uh, to, to those who were registered last week, I, I we have one required book. However, I told you not to buy the book because it is available in our library. Uh, here is the uh, uh, the reference of the book. If you want to get it on print, that's up to you. But I would recommend not to do it because we have a, a link here. Where you can access the ebook in the ebook format. Okay, the course overview and description is a survey of integrated technologies for, li for, for libraries, examined through case studies, product reviews, and library marketplace reports. Topics include, but not limited to, the interface design of the OPAC and the hand searching applications, technical service modules, electronic resource management systems 
open URLs and federated searching applications and overall requirements for public access and use of integrated systems. We're going to have a lot of emphasis on ILS, but uh, we'll be adding more content about uh, other, uh, other of the topics that are here described in the uh, course overview. Here are the objectives. Please make sure you read them. I'm not going to read them all, but please make sure you read the whole syllabus, okay? Here is if you have to turn in any assignment, like uh, the product review and the technology plan, make sure you read this. And this is how it's going to be graded. As I said, we have seven DVs or participation. That's 10 points each, a total of 70 points. Product review, 10 points. Technology plan, 10 points. Final exam, 10 points total 100 points and this is the table that I was uh, telling you about you will know your grade because you can calculate how many points you have and where does that where, what does that mean in terms of a letter grade here are the main topics of the um, of the of this of the of this uh, semester of this short semester by weeks and these are the chapters that I recommend you to read but as I as it's pointed out here, there will be other material and other readings that I will tell you uh, here in detail. Okay, please read this very carefully. Also, read about the policies of the university and of the class, uh, class attendance, Title IX, academic honesty, academic integrity policy, uh, special services, etc. So this is the syllabus, okay? Let's go to the second component. Okay, we have some additional readings that I have uh, decided to put here in terms of uh, library system reports, uh, top library automation software, how to choose a free and open source integrated library system, the 2012 buyer guide uh, category, 2012 buyer's guide, automated uh, materials vending, you can click here and these are PDF files. Okay. Uh, and there are uh, two more management and support share integrated library systems and one and those. And I will be telling you when to read what. Of course, you're going to use uh, these guys here to do your first uh, assignment, which is the product review. The product review is due on April 17, 2016 at 11.30. Now, the, where are the instructions? I'm going to add the instructions right now. I'm going to click here, click here, click here, and let's see where the product review is. Pum, 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 pum. Technology plan. Let me see where I put the product review. Here it is. Okay. I'm gonna and I'm gonna show you how I do this. Okay, let me put this here. So here's the product review. These are the instructions. Project length mass maximum of 10 pages, and this is the product review. Make sure you read this carefully so you know what you're gonna do. Okay. Now I'm gonna put this as a PDF file. So I'm gonna click here. File, print. Save as PDF. I'm going to make it save right there. Okay, this is the first assignment. Let me put it in here. So we're going to add a file here. Upload file. And here it is. And we're going to be adding this. So now when you see this video, you know it's going to be here. This, and this is the Dropbox link, okay? Click here, there it is. So for this specific assignment, I want you to select a particular ILS system, integrated library system, and research it. 
vendor websites, the class readings, the library technology guides website, and other articles can provide essential information regarding the vendor and his product. Discover as much information as possible about the integrated library system offered by a vendor for libraries guided by the questions uh, listed below. Answer each question fully. So you have to choose a product and then you have to answer these questions. Once you've done that, please submit your product review to the Dropbox. This has to be done by uh, April 17. The next thing that we will be doing, and you ask me, where are the product guides reviews? Well, right here, where it says reading additional content, you see it here. So this is from uh, 2012, and you can uh, search here for a product. Of, uh, library integrated uh, integrated library systems and once you have chosen or selected the product do your research and answer the questions okay this is the buyer's guide there are many products you can even go to the internet and ask uh, and I'm sure uh, Wikipedia will have a list of many ILS available and from there you start your research. Okay, the second assignment, big assignment, is the technology plan. The technology plan is due May 1st, 2016, almost at the end of the semester, okay? And here is where you're going to put your, uh, this is the link to the Dropbox for the technology plan, just like we have here in the product review here. Well, we have the technology plan. And now, where are the instructions? The instructions are here. Let me get them. Here they are. OK, this is the technology plan. And here, this is a very interesting um, plan because I'm giving you uh, uh, a, a, an amount of money, of dollars, that you can spend to to in your uh, technology plan so this is a scenario you are in charge of selecting an ILS system for a small rural library you work for the library board has asked you to present an excel table and report comparing three ILS products one of those products of course could be one, the one that you uh, submitted for uh, the uh, product review the library is running a legacy system. A legacy system is an old system. There are a couple of old computers and a printing printer running MS Windows XP and a very primitive electronic catalog uh, program. Uh, there is an internet connection. There is a limited there is a limited budget. The staff member is limited to one professional librarian, that's you, and three part-time paraprofessionals. And you have to uh, you have to write a technology plan and you have to use this money in the Excel sheet okay so let me make sure that I do a, a PDF file of this too okay and let me add instructions here so I'm gonna add new blow file uh, we're going to put the technology plan now we're going to add now we have the instructions for the technology plan and this is the Dropbox again uh, you have to submit your plan by May 1st okay of course you're going to have questions about the plan and the technology plan and the product review and you can ask those questions and the, 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 the place to ask those questions is right here in the discussion okay actually I think I'm gonna ask I'm gonna add two more topics in the non graded participation so you feel f uh, more comfortable asking the questions uh, product review I did I haven't thought about it but I think it will be great so we have a topic called product review we have another topic uh, technology plan By the way, in the instructions of the technology plan, it says that you can do that as a group. 
and you're welcome to do that as a group but you don't have to you can do it by yourself it's very hard uh, I have done it in the past uh, as a requirement to work in groups when you are online uh, I have done it in longer sessions in the normal 14-week uh, uh, session in a seven-week section session it will be very hard so my recommendation is uh, that you do this uh, uh, assignment uh, individually however if you want to uh, challenge yourself and you want to do it with another of your classmates you're welcome to do it that will be up to you okay so if you have any questions about the uh, product review and the technology plan you can ask them right here okay let's go back to the content area okay I said that uh, my PowerPoints and I will be adding uh, uh, record lectures so I haven't recorded them I will record them uh, or I will do a live sessions I don't know maybe recorded sessions and I will uh, uh, put a video lecture like the one that you're looking at now and I will add the PowerPoint in here so you can have a printed copy if you want the final exam is here and I'm going to add the Dropbox too. So what I will do is I will ask you a question uh, in the final exam or will remind you that you have to put your finished product that I will tell you the, the instructions later and put in the Dropbox in the final exam. Okay. So it's not uh, again it's not going to be a question that you have to do it's something that you you will have time to work on it uh, a week before and you just have to submit it in the Dropbox okay uh, we talk about university policies and you can see this uh, PDF here uh, I have a PA, APA link in case you need help in how to uh, use APA style and this is important for the product review and for the technology plan how to format your paper and how to uh, make citations if you need to using APA uh, this is participation again this is the same thing that is right here here are the due dates as I pointed out before but you have it in the content area too and what I will do like almost every and uh, just uh, just to let you know and this is easy to so you don't forget each DV, uh, DV is due every week so for this week do DV1 next week do DV2 and so on for the seven week period okay but I, uh, but uh, anyway, if you want to see the due date, you go to discussion here, and you will see when it's due. Also, there is a calendar in the home page. It tells you exactly the days where everything is due. Okay. And finally, this is very important too. And I will ask you to watch a video. I will tell you which video it is. Koha it's a integrated library system that it's a uh, that is a, 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 a public free access uh, and it's, it's very good for small libraries because small libraries don't have the funding to buy uh, uh, products that are uh, owned by uh, private companies this is a this is a, a community effort and we'll be using this for the final exam so I want you to watch the videos that I will tell you which ones to, to watch it but here you will have uh, click uh, links to the videos for ex this in, in YouTube about this product this is for example for example how to uh, set up circulation in Koha 3.18 etc and we'll be doing some practice with Koha because they have a demo site okay but I also will let you know how to do that because I want you to have some hands-on experience to uh, using an ILS system and what we will do in the final exam and I will tell you how to do is to set up some uh, to add some records thank you I think that will be all for today and soon I will be adding the uh, the lecture for this week